Well, you did, but you can't recall it. Can't recall. Yeah, so I think yeah. we need to go up back to the comms deck and Can identify. We just Can we sort that? out the air filter, please? <laughs> For the love of God. Because if right. we wake any of these up, they're breathing the shit in. Hold Before on. Before anyone carries on, yeah. are you going to check on the mechanic or not? The body? No. Right. He's dead. Okay. He's okay. Dead. Right, everyone do a air roll for me. Uh, air roll. roll that many yellow dice to whatever you rest, please. Because you've been standing around gassing for a bit. <laughs> How many times did I say, let's go to the comms deck you know, he's getting and get serious. the EV? Right, but if we get the air filter sorted, we can fucking breathe. He gave up his I can't. no legged like girlfriend for you. And then yeah. you Hold on. I can't do <laughs> the shaft. Like... I can't do the shaft with two oxygen. I... I don't understand okay. why we haven't just asked Mother. You're okay. I don't know how many I've got to roll. Oh, I've got to roll. Uh, I've got uh, three air. Okay, roll three. Just three. Three, right, yeah. If you get any ones, you need to reduce your air. Oh, shit. Sure. Uh, three, roll it. Okay, I don't get any ones. <clears throat> okay, so you got your air stays as it is. That was a four. If I have to re- I've got to re-roll it. Yeah, okay, right. so you, all your options stay as it is. Okay. okay, can we go to recharge our EV suits, go and see who Belage is, Bellagio, whoever it is, who's in the deck, okay. who's been said to be blown Can we off. refill the suits and then go under the air scrubbers? Yes. Now, this will cost someone who's got one a story point, but I can give you some information that you've forgotten. So if you want to use a story point, one of those very valuable story points, I can give you a bit of information that you're overlooking slightly. Can, sorry. I will. Yeah. Can, you, can, I, can we not just ask Mother? Who was on the ship? Yeah, you can get back to Mother's room and talk to her. That's oh, you'd have to go back. You yeah. I just mean, you can try, try over the comms. She might. Like how listen. many people? How many? Depends who asks as well, because you're the ranking officer now. Yeah. But and he's the ranking company agent. So just, potentially, if you wanted you to ask, you could get an answer. How many people? What would you ask? Like, how many crew members were there? Perhaps were on the ship. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I ask Mother yeah. how many crew members were on the ship? Okay, so it a couple of seconds, doesn't it? Okay, she, she should answer straight away, but it's an old ship. Yeah. Uh, but you get an answer coming over the comms uh, across the entire ship. Uh, Kronos original crew number 32. Yeah. Before. Um, Extraction. Incident. No. Bef- before uh, landing on LV323. Do you remember they got pulled away? Yeah. To a weird little outpost? Yeah. Okay, after incident in LV-323, uh, eight surviving. I thought there were nine. Okay, Mother, how many life forms are on the board this ship right now? Dead or alive? Alive. Um, ten. Fuck. Oh, no, hang on, hang on, actually. Seven. No, 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 nine. <laughs> yeah, nine, actually, I picked up. Nine. I've just done that. Nine. So to give you an idea, you've got six cards there of people in pods and two you dead. three. That's nine. No, but two are dead. I asked alive. Oh, sorry. That, yeah, no, sorry. we asked oh. alive. Sorry. Uh, in that case, alive, you've got seven. Oh, okay. So it's just a alive on the ship. Well, God damn, mother, stop malfunctioning, will you? Love you. Okay, seven. Okay. Yeah. But there was nine... There was ten crew who came. Ten on. crew. Crew who came on. That yeah, and we've got we we know where seven are, so we potentially don't know where three, three are. are. Do you still want to spend that story point? Yeah. Right. So scratch that off. Right. So a bit of info that you slightly overlooked. Um, We're gonna have a look at everything. Okay. So the thing with the officer that's worth checking. There was also an arm in the reactor floating around. Oh yes. No one is armless. I forgot about the arm. Okay. I th- so I said I need a notepad. Yeah. Okay. Um, I took the wrench. If if she counts dead and alive, just give you a little hint. You've also don't forget Roy using that as well. 
Right, right. right could still be alive. Yeah. So there was so in, in potentially there should be thirteen human wow. bodies on this ship, ten from the original crew and you three. three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, Roy as well. Did yeah. Okay. So we don't know if Roy, well, Roy's not. But you currently okay. have seven life forms alive on the ship. Seven life forms okay. alive. So you got these four, you three. Okay. So that's what you shoot. That's fine. So um, mm -hmm. I did. I did find an arm down. Oh, the one with the wrench. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is that wrench? That's fantastic. It worked really well. Also, oh, well, also <laughs> with that story point. There are seven pods in this room. Six are occupied. One is open. So this assumes there's a life pod here. Okay, yeah. let's just put a life pod there. Yeah. So there's seven pods. One is one is open. And no one's in it. Yeah. No one's in it. So that's the person in the crew. In the crew. Okay, mother. Who were the people that went to cryo sleep ten years ago? <sighs> Bloody hell. That's some dodgy questions. I know, I guess right, we know officer, Bellage, Clayton, company agent. Flynn, Flynn medic. Cooper. Cooper, scientist. Bean, pilot. Horton, mechanic. Who was in the last pod? Hold on. Mother's, no, no, mother's, mother's, mother's what doesn't want to give the information. The processing units have been down for 50 years. Yeah. Give her a. Charles, <laughs> ship mechanic. Cine, ship mechanic. And she apologise. Oh, and uh, Rupert. Are you looking, my Rupert, assistant scientist. Ah, uh, Rupert. Okay, those are the ten people who survived the incident on LV uh, two three two or three two three, whichever I've said <laughs> previously. LV three two three. Do we have any data that? falls back onto why the rest of the crew did not well this is just going to get to sleep you do not have access to the information as you do not have the uh, correct level of security please seek an officer or a, a head company uh, agent right let's okay go okay, charge our seats let's go charge our seats okay so the, uh, the nearest charge point is just over the, the side of the hot uh, corridor. Oh, is it? I yeah. thought we had to go back up to the top to no, the no, no, there's charge points all over the ship okay so we charge it and, and we go, get we go across there's another room with this is a slightly bigger room and you've got 14 of these pods all open okay so i'm back so up to power three yeah. so normally what happens with a crew the size of this had you'd have half on shift half asleep, sleep and you'd switch yeah every five years or so okay that's fine depending okay yes yeah, so there's charge points so we've charged no in. oxygen we just want power Ju yeah you sure we just want power for now okay we don't in. want oxygen everyone's power goes up to six <coughs> One, two, two, one, six. Okay, I need someone's help with this air filter. So, right, so through the middle of the ship is basically a big shaft. Yep. With CO2 scrubbers. And you yep. have a, so they'll be, what normally happens is you have a row of scrubbers and Clean a container them. row, and you just pull them out, put them in, switch them. Switch them. Okay. And they should be switched every 30 years or so. Okay, so we so need to. It's been missing for 40, so it's probably due to clean. Okay. Well, if you want, I'll come with you. Okay, and Menamal, I mean, <laughs> Miller, do you want to join? I still got my gun drawn. <laughs> Can I pause the dogs? Oh, I'm going to do a heavy machinery roll. Um, wow, uh, it's, not, it's not that simple. So, are you going to go and help? Yes. Right, Miller, what are you doing? Sorry. No, sure. Um, are you going like to just stand and watch? Are you going to read the long You could, could have a look at the body in the chair. But yeah, yeah, but I'll go okay, and well, see if I can. Yeah. Well, we're going to start from the top and we're going to go all the way down. Right, so you're all going to go up to A deck then. Yep. So Miller will go on into the cockpit. Yep. Um, so you can check the level. In fact, sorry, no. So you'll, you guys will go a, co a level above Miller. Yep. Where Mother Mainframe is. You go to the, the control station to have a look at the body. You guys are going to start. So you, there is this huge door. You open it. Um, basically, uh, you have to go into like a little airlock because there's anti gravity there. Hook up and then you go down and change okay. edge filter. Okay. Okay, so before you do anything, mm -hmm. I want both of you to roll me a wits or agility, your choice. Has he pinched all the dice again? Yeah, yeah. yeah because I was going to go for it. He loves the dice. Um, so you, you pick which what you want. I'm going to go wits with. Or agility. With your stress dice. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've got my stress dice. Let's see if you actually hook up properly. Because <laughs> you might just go. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Especially if the zero gravity didn't work. Oh, we got one success, one fail. One success, one fail. Okay, so you stress goes up one. Okay. So you fucked up. Oh, oh. oh. Four success. For, I am that good. I've fucked up, up twice. Oh. So do, you want, do you want to do anything cool with that? What, what can I do that's cool? Think you can <clears> roll with anything you want. <laughs> There's me trying. Remember last time you rolled really well, you flipped the birds? Yeah, that was an easiest. Can I just flip the birds again, but there's no one behind me? You just fuck you, shit. <laughs> you pick up your hook tether with your two birds and you just go, and it just clicks. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> Not bad for a company, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you both hooked up. Yeah. And you're both now going to work your way down. Are you go- is there only going to change every air scrubber? Um, how many air scrubbers per? There's about 30 in the ship. 30. To change. Okay, yeah, how many 50, on deck? 15 each side. No, you're going to, this shaft goes right through the ship. Okay. So you'll end up on, on D deck when you're done. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We only need to do a... Because the, the entire ship shares environmental. So if you leave some undone, then spores potentially could still get through. <laughs> potentially. Yeah. Or they could be cleaned out. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, let's... It would be wise to change every single air filter. Just saying. Okay, well, we'll change every single air <laughs> yeah. But there's 30 of them. Well, this is going to take hours. You were the one who wanted to clean the air filters, so you were the one that wanted to do the job you're with the me. You're the fucking mechanic. Well, you're the one who wanted to clean all the air filters. Fuck. Right, so I want you both, Miller, both come to do an observation roll. I'll come change some filters. No stress. With stress, however, minus two black dice. It's really noisy in here. And because the minus two black dice, you get one black dice. So because the uh, ship's powering off, a lot of the air covers were frozen, and it's really noisy. So <laughs> the ice is melting. I'm gone deaf. No, nothing for me. I didn't get a success either. Oh, that's good. Yay! Right. So basically, there's these rods that uh, separate hydrogen from oxygen, and they're used for the scrubbers. <laughs> right. You got failures. Yeah. Right. Take a damage. Oh, come on. Ouch. I've only got one more Can health, I think. Can you take a damage? So, and just, uh, to, just to let everyone know, what is your health? Um, my health is two. So two. I'm half dead. I'm like... So, yeah, one more damage, he's dead. Get the fucking medic. Oh. What did that hurt? So just basically, as you go in, you're just not paying attention. It's really loud. You, he's trying to shout at you like, no, 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 you've got to put that one in there quickly. And you sort of pull this bit of machinery and you hurt yourself. Yourself, so no failures, no successes. It's just taking you a long time to get down. Okay. As you, you sort of get halfway, um, Cham, you see there's a particular filter that's really crusted with these, these spores. And what look like, it's really weird, so the spores are about sort of about half the size of these dice floating around. Okay. The biggest ones. Yeah. The majority of them are smaller. However, about the size of my thumb, there's a little cluster of six, what look like plant fungi eggs, thing. yeah, fungi things, yeah, just growing on an air filter. Looks pretty gross. On to Miller, who's currently walking into the command deck, and there is the body there of this person. Yeah. <clears throat> I look at the body. Okay. So you have a look. The outfit does say Bellage. Right. However, on a closer look now, you realise they've also got gloves on. Um, and the neck warmer that you normally wear when the ship's life, um, support goes down, it gets cold because it's space. And they're wearing actually another tunic underneath. Oh. And also, this person does not look like Belarus. No. Is it, is it a male? Or yep. female? It's a male. Yep. Oh, it's a on this ship. <laughs> See it? If you want, you can unzip the coat and have a look what the other coat says. Oh, would it? Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's the ship's mechanic of the ten who survived. So ah, remember, remember your list? yeah. You know, so that, that's who's actually sitting that's in that That's who chair. it is. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like they took Bellagio's outfit to try and stay warm. Ah. And then eventually if, if something happened and they shot themselves. Um, it's at this point you realise you could actually look through the ship's logs. Maybe they left a note. Okay. Yeah. So and look yeah. Through the logs. Do an observation for me, or a contact, whichever is easier. Yeah. Uh, 
Contact, observation, observation. Is that four? Yeah. And yeah. then my stress? Yeah. So seven. Yeah. What the hell? It just appears with fire. Going gone. Four. Like a caveman? Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Uh, Jesus. Three success. And a stress. And one stress. That's about right. I'd be a little bit stressed. Okay, so add, a, add a stress to your yeah. feet. Um, right, so you actually find the mechanic's um, log. Looks like he left a little diary. Yeah. So his pod was broken. It was in the, the room with the other six. So he couldn't use it. Uh, he was accidentally woken up early. Realised he couldn't go back because the other pods are all We're shut down. Taken, yeah. Um, but for the crew that obviously didn't make coming back off the planet, um, he mentions that Cooper found something really important and was working on it in his lab. Yeah, so I want to wake and, Cooper up. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. And he basically kept watch on the ship for as long as he could. Aww. The crew who remain in the pods are unaware that he was stuck. Looking after. Yeah. So he took Balaj's outfit. Eventually, space just got to him and he shot himself. And his, his last sort of message is a farewell to his family. Oh, that's saying, really sad. Saying to the crew, like, Aww. guys, if you wake up and you find me, I'm sorry. I try to stay as try to stay as positive as I could for as long as possible. Oh, that's that's lovely. Also, he does mention something about what happened in LV three two three. If you want to open it. Okay. So. This was a science team of 30 plus crew members. They went down to this planet after Mother picked up a distress beacon and took the ship off course. They eventually decided to go down. Something happened um, and a bioorganism on the planet and it killed a lot of the crew members. Those who survived decided to retreat. However, several were heavily infected with this fungus. They were isolated and killed. Okay, oh un God. Under the orders of Clayton. Yeah. They were incinerated at the door and not allowed back on the ship. The ship, oh my god. She's uh, the surviving ten got on board. However, it was found out that someone else, the, um, I forgot his name, you written on the back, it's the, the Rupert. We've got Rupert, Charlie, Rupert's and Steve, the scientist Steve, assistant. Steve Steiner, Steiner. Yes, Rupert's the, the sort of scientist helper, Cooper's helper. Yeah. He was also infected, but it seems deliberately <gasps> and he uh, ran off down into the reactor room carrying a wrench and decided to hide away. However, his life signs ended very quickly. We don't know what happened to him because the reactor all shut off. Rupert died. She killed Rupert. Keep company. Actually. Also, he found out that um, Horton, the mechanic who's been shot, he confirms that he was shot and it looks like he was shot before he went under. Now, Horton went to sleep just after this guy and the only two people the only people who were awake were the medic Clayton and Horton at the time and so one of them oh god my brain's going to turn out of blood. so, so one, one of them shot, 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 shot Horton before shot he went Horton to sleep and potentially shot poor Rupert or no like infected poor Rupert uh, possibly well we we'll let him back on well, the Rupert ship. was one of the scientists but he was he unfortunately locked himself in the reactor and something went wrong yeah and his life signs went off very quickly okay Oh my god, that's a lot of information. Do not ask me to recall that information. That is a lot. <laughs> right. Okay. So if you look on there, so yeah, your first name, Charlie, on the back of your sheet. Yeah. So that's the the ship's mechanic. That's this guy who shot himself. Okay. So Charlie shot himself. Yep. Yeah. Like Next we're name. Doing a, um, Sienna. 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 He right. was. That was another ship mechanic. Ship mechanic. No idea what happened to that person. Okay. So far. Rupert, the science officers understood he infected. Died, infected, looks like intentionally, and died in the reactor. Intentionally. And the only thing you know about Horton was the medic and Clayton were both awake when he went to sleep. Horton was, was about to go to sleep when they were awake. So okay. one of them is responsible for his death. Okay. I feel like this is more of a who done it. Was he shot? Yeah. Guess who? Well, that, so so um, the mechanic does Clayton. say that it looks like a gunshot wound, Clayton. and he has no idea who did it. But oh. they were the only two awake. Clayton. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going Clayton. 
As you sort of look around the command deck as well at this point, there's uh, a, something beeps on one of the monitors. And it says the pan of the long range scanners pick something up, you have no idea what. And then it goes. Ah, oh, okay. Long range so, in the ship or outside the ship? It's on ship. So it could be a malfunction. Could be. Because there is nothing out there. Could be anything. It okay. could also be debris of the Montero. Yeah, or it could be so, something. Could be leaf on a rocket pod just going, oh my god, bridges! I'm here! The bridges! <laughs> I'm in the mule! She shows up and smacks your ass as well. <laughs> yeah. They were all having to go to champ. <laughs> He just got himself, he put himself around this. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you two are cleaning the air scrubbers, you've now found these yep. eggs. What do you want to do? Uh, I radio up to. Uh, eat the eggs. Um, <laughs> I like scrambled eggs. Um, radio up to. Uh, Wilson. Wilson. I've got some uh, something here. Okay, so um, roughly at the same sort of level. So yep. you're coming up to B de- uh, the bottom of B deck now onto C deck. Okay. You've cool. also found some. Mm-hmm. And you realise it's very concentrated in this area. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we should wake up the scientist and test what this is. You mean the scientist that could be potentially crazy? Don't matter. We we need to find out what the spores are. Well, then surely the medic knows as well, though. Medic is not a scientist. But the, we need the medic to wake the scientist. <laughs> might need to. He <laughs> might need to administer some sort of hyperspace drug. I don't know. Let shall I? I'm going to ask the captain. Him? I'm going to radio the captain. Okay. Captain? Yeah. Um, me and um, Wilson. Do we want to do that? Well, me and Wilson. Uh, this captain is really hard. Though. Sorry. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> you've just, you've had just you heard. You've nothing what I just said then. You've yep. had just heard him go, do you want to do that while we're yeah. <laughs> um, We've got a little bit of an issue with one of the scrubbies. A couple of the scrubbies. Uh-huh. We've got some black fungal spores growing around it. I'll tell you what, I'm starving. They what do you want us to do? Shall we take him off, wake up the scientist, and get him to test it? I think we need to. I think we need to wake up the medic. Okay. Medic. We need to wake up the medic and the scientist. <coughs> okay. Um, Let me take the chance. So what I, I yeah. am done for shit. <laughs> I do not care. Why well, fucking do? I don't. I can't shit in this again. I'm only gone twice. You are not moving away from me. We are doing this. Just give I'm me listening. five minutes. No. Nope. There's a high pitched whine from its mother. Failure to complete the full process of the air scrubbers will result in a loss of fidelity in the remaining air scrubbers. Suggest that you complete the task first. We've got to complete the task. I'm going to have to go full on handed now. You don't have to, but she suggests you do. Okay. Otherwise, the air will never be clean. Okay. Is it like a time frame that she gives or? Nope. How long is it going to take? Very strange mother said that. Mm. By the way, okay, I'm gonna roll. I need to get the air air support going. Yes, you're gonna keep going down. I'm gonna keep going down, and I'm gonna go with heavy machinery to get this job so, no, done. So okay. it'll be agility or oh, will it be agility? It agility or strength? Okay. Oh, strength. Yeah, I'm gonna use strength. So it's part of my strength. Do you want some yellow? Eight, uh, two, five, six, seven. I need one more yellow. I mean, that I need sense. a black. Yeah, I need a black one. Yeah, oh, sorry, my bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go super, super quick and get stressed, which is fine. Okay. Oh my god! A success and a All stress. All those dice. Uh-huh. How many stress you on? I'm on five. Roll five stress dice, please. But I've got a success. Look, I've, I've, I've got to go. Right, hang on. Hold on. I don't care. You helping me? Let's see if he fucks his friend. <laughs> What'd you get? Two. Two. Right, okay, so you're booking it, getting these done as quick as you can. Like, this is like one out, one in, the other one's still in your arm, putting it into the case. Yeah. Going. Yeah. You're following as best you can, he's talking you through. You realise one of the scrubbers, he pulls it out and just pushes it back in and goes down to the next one, he's missed one. Right, oh, Ch- champ? Yeah. Champ? Yeah. You, you missed one. It's all right, I've, I've checked it. Don't no, worry. No, 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 it's fine. I've checked it. Pulls it out. What the fuck is this? Put it back in. It's got spores it. all over it. Take this it out. I'm going to say that. Take it out. Put it back in. We need to get it done. The clean ones the air in the box pl- next to it. Clean ones in the box next to it. Yeah, your you, choice. You have, you have missed one. It's just you okay. get really stressed. Yeah. Just do your job. Do your job. 
and do what you, you like. <laughs> Pull your finger out. I'm going to do this. Again, it's stopping me from shitting. <laughs> no, knock your stress down by two. Stop that too. You made a stressful thing. So you're going to replace that scrubbery's vest? Yeah. Right, you then watching every scrubbery does or just keeping up on your side? Just keep my side. Okay, pull so. your fucking shit together. Okay. Right, we'll so do. you get all the air scrubbers re- replaced in bunnies. I won't tell you if you missed any. <laughs> <laughs> missed them. Everything's wet, like whirring. Um, by the time you're at the bottom, you unhook, you go all the way back up. Um, you're li- this is where you're listening to the logs at this point. The logs finish as these guys appear at the doorway. You've all now noticed that the, the spores have dissipated. The air looks a lot cleaner. Okay. Jump. Hell of a lot cleaner. Well, God damn, okay. I'm going for a poo. Boys. Take your shirt off? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Smells good. It tastes good. That's that's recirculated, recycled air. And it's worst. It's exactly <laughs> what, <laughs> it's exactly what a spaceship should yeah. smell yeah. taste like. What, like, I, um, old, like an old caravan. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> nasty. Okay. That does the air filters regenerate. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, so he's took his helmet off. Yep, so I have put a your air up to six. You you sit will charge while your helmet's off. <sighs> do you guys want to take your helmet off? He's just done it. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll be be it. Can I um go to Cooper's quarters? Okay, so he takes his helmet off, says he needs a shit, and just walks off. Okay. You guys take your helmets off, so your air will eventually cycle back up to six. Yeah. So you're gonna carry your helmets around with you. I'm going to carry my helmet. So I've you got two are backpack. on the bridge. What do you want to do? Um, Wake these guys up. Okay. Well, what are we going to do? Do you have your helmet? Yeah. That's good. We need to go and wake the medic up. Okay. We need to wake the medic up. Well, let's go and wake him up before Wilson gets back. Yes. <laughs> so we've got to wake up the medic and yeah. Cooper. Is that correct? Go wake up the dice over them. Uh, yes. Yeah. So yes. for, for the audio Flynn listeners, and Flynn and Cooper. I'm just getting him to roll a dice roll that these guys know nothing about. Brilliant. You are fucking shit. Can I re-roll? You can push, yes. But for extra dice, it's yellow. No, no, so you just run again. Okay. And then you'll put your stress back. Two okay. success. Cool. You lucky bugger. Okay. Right, so you guys going down to the pods? Yes. Yep, we're going to wake up the... Flynn first. Are we waking up Flynn first? Yeah, in case something's wrong with Cooper and Flynn can chill. Okay, okay. That's, that's the information you've got. Okay, now I'm going to ask you, did you get any information on that dead body up there? Okay, what happened? I can't remember the dead did body. You, did, you write, did you get your little notepad out and write it? I got my notepad out. Okay, Sorry. Cool. No, what? no. Who, who was the... Um, uh, was the guy that was dead? Was it Charlie? The mechanic. Charlie, yeah. yeah Charlie. The, okay, so, so his the name's mechanic. It's Charlie. Charlie shot himself. Oh, okay. And tried to keep himself snuggly and warm when everyone suits but didn't work. Okay, then what happened? How did Norton die? Horton. Horton. I think got murdered. By who? Clayton or Flynn, but I don't think it was Flynn. But you want to wake up Flynn? Yeah, but I didn't. Flynn looks innocent. Okay, Flynn looks innocent. Company agents, come on. Yeah, we know how dickish they are. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So, um. Uh huh. So, we need to d- so did anything else said? Uh. On the legs. The arm floating around. Yeah. Was Rupert. What, what, why was he. Rupert was, was the assistant scientist. Well, how did, why was his arm floating well, around? Well, he had information and what information? got infected. What information? I need to know this. We've got to keep it from We don't students. know the information. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it. Some Something on that planet. Something on the planet? Yeah. Then what happened to the other 32 crew members? They got Is infected it? on the planet. So they got infected? And then um, they got... what? don't know. So, so we need to wake up the medic and the scientist. Yes. And Rupert was infected. Yes. So the Rupert was infected. And locked himself in the collarbone. <laughs> that must have been one bad shit. Right, so what I'll do is uh, Div has had something secret going on while he's away from the other two. So I will do a voiceover of what he found out in the episode. So not even you guys are going to know until you hear it. So Div found out that the Whalen Utani Corporation had sent the Kronos to locate a sample of a chemical agent and eventually they landed on LV-232 
of the 26 Draconian star system. This is where the crew had found out that the said chemical had somehow leaked onto the planet causing various mutations. The scientists brought back some of the samples on the ship and started to experiment with the substance, creating what they called the 26 Draconian strain. Now, some of the crew were infected by this, and Cooper had attempted to make some form of cure based on the strain of itself to fight the moats. The vaccine, however, is not 100% safe and can cause some mutations. Cooper successfully managed to synthesise the uh, chemical substance into the Traconus 26 strain and then unknowingly to some of the other crew infected them with it in order to get them hibernated with spores ready for cryo to be go back to Wayland Dutani for a rather hefty paycheck. Uh, the rest of the team are unaware of this and Wilson being a Wayland Dutani corporate agent has decided to download all the information to his personal device and delete all copies of evidence, making it unaware of what's actually going on. He will be taking it back to Wayland Utani um, on Earth or one of the nearest outposts. Okay. 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 Um, but where's my cards? Uh, you don't need those. You ones. put one there, didn't you? Don't need those ones. No, you need those. Okay. Right. So he comes back. That's close. It's alright. I've never even read mine. Well, I have, but I don't. Yeah. Okay. So he comes back. He's got his helmet back on. That must have been a bad poo. Jesus Christ, how bad was that? Do we need <laughs> Don't to, even. Do we need to go into the air filters? There is not enough filters in the world. <laughs> that shit particles they're breathing, there. <laughs> yeah. Your crap. Why does it smell like kebab? <laughs> <It's> so gross. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you drink the ship's water? That's very sort of piss. Okay. So, so, um, so we go back down to the bay. Right, we, you're in the room. Those are the pods in front of you. We're waking up. Mm-hmm. You'll, you'll show up after they've done something. Yeah. Okay. Right, so, so what are you going to open? Who? Flynn. Flynn first. Flynn first. <laughs> you press the buttons. Do you, do you know how to open a hypersleep I've pod? I've got no idea. No. Yeah. So, both oh, okay. you've both done hypersleep lots of times. Okay. So, you open up Flynn's pod. There is this man in front of you in his grundies. Just going. Hi, Flynn. And he sort of starts coming to. And um, he just looks at you both. Click your own phase that you are not crew members and just goes oh and just leans over and starts puking yeah this horrible sort of blue liquid okay it's quite normal from deep pipe slice you've, you've had this before uh, okay just walks past you pushes you out of the way and goes straight to his locker and starts fumbling and he gets this needle and just injects himself uh-huh. and just starts breathing heavily he's like oh. <coughs> what the hell did you do <coughs> oh Christ what, what, what is that <coughs> Oh, what did you just inject yourself? Oh, stimulant. Woo! Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. Still on the Kronos. Ah, oh, fuck. Who are you? I'm chair. I'm Captain... I'm just, just a lady. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Miller. No, yes, yeah. Captain Miller. Captain Miller, the joy again. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Brilliant. <laughs> I just know you've got a fucking goffy. No. <coughs> I've got a fag. You've been smoking that shit? Yep. Oh. First time I can actually light one oh, up. Oh, the air scrubbers are working. Oh, thank God. You fixed the air scrubbers. What, yes. they with them? Oh, that smells good. Oh, there was this, uh, there, there was this weird spores because the scrubbers weren't cleaned before we all went to sleep. Ah. Oh, it's really bad. Um, right, uh, so, <laughs> rescue party, I assume, yeah? No. What? Uh, no. What? <laughs> No. What do you mean you're not the rescue party? You Scientists, have a Marines, Wayland well, Utani at least? Nope. Mm. We don't have a ship. What are you doing? We're from the USSR Montiel. Oh, you've got a ship? Oh, thank God. Right, so. No, we, we don't have a ship. No. What kind of rescue is this? It's not. Other than a ship one? Well, I'm going to leave it to the cap. <laughs> What the fuck have you done to my crew? And he immediately goes to these two pods. What the sh- Oh, okay, well that guy just fell down and killed the boss. Oh shit. Oh, uh, are you the ranking officer now? Yes. Oh, thank God. Right, we've got a rank officer. That's brilliant. Uh, can I see your ID? Yes. Uh, Mother, please confirm ID of... What's your name? He looks on your shirt. Miller. Miller. Mother pipes up and confirms you are now acting officer. Yes. After the tragic death of... 
the previous. Your officer, yeah. Right, okay, so you've had all access to all mother's files, yeah. Yes. You know what happened on, on 3, 4, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 the planet. Yeah. <coughs> the bio-agent that killed the ship, uh, just a load of the crew. Bio-agent? Yeah, monster. Mm. Uh, dragon. That's the best way I could describe it. Bio-agent that killed... Yeah, so the burst dragon. out of one of our crew's chest. Oh my god. Grew really gosh. big and it killed a load of them. And by the end of it, is it on the ship? Four. No, no, no. We got off the planet in time, but Clayton, the bitch, she executed four of them. <gasps> I knew she it set fire to them because they, they were infected. I mean, they were showing symptoms, but I, can't, I swear I could have helped them, especially with Cooper's research. I yes, think we need to. sort of runs to Cooper's pod and he's like, "Oh, God, Cooper's still alive." Yeah, we need to. We need to wake up Cooper. Wake leave Clayton asleep. What? You can't wake him up. Yes, we can. He might have the high, the, the later stages of space dementia. He was very unhinged when I put him under. We need to wake him up. Captain, oh, Captain, I think okay. we need to wake him up. Okay, I'm just telling you, look, he might flip out. Well, can you help him if he flips out? Can, can you use a stimulant? Give him a sedative. You don't yeah. give him a stimulant, Christ. Bat shit as it is. Going on about some... How strong is a sedative? Really good. He's, he's babbling about something, some strain. Um, apparently... He tested it on his understood. I don't know. I can't remember everything. Rupert. Bit, yeah, uh, Rupert. Yeah, he mm. died. He got. He got it. He got infected and ran to the. Oh, oh shit! The ship. Some of the reactors working. That means Rupert's dead. Rupert is dead. Oh Christ! Okay. Hang on. Who else has made it then? You Anyone else? It. Charles. Charles didn't make it. What about Celine's pod? It's open. No idea. I don't know where Celine is. Have you not found her? Where were you? I'm, I'm still walking back. Oh, come on, you're, you're not there yet. No, hang on. What about Charlie? Charlie and Celine. Right, Celine's pod's there. Where's Charlie? Charlie killed himself. What? Charlie's very sorry. He tried to. Okay, this guy's starting to have a break, mental break. Okay. Okay, okay yeah. I I'll, 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 I'll get yeah, that. Yeah, I guess that too. We're not a rescue operation and everyone's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got, got oh, I'm back to bed. <laughs> I'll get you a coffee. <laughs> Do you want to? Do you want to? <laughs> Finally, I can have one of these. Okay. Never gonna uh, right. So, who are we waking up? Cooper. Oh Christ. Okay. Uh, well, first things first. I need to get dressed. I'm in my underwear. <coughs> oh, don't worry. There's another guy here. He puts an overall. Another one of the agents. Yes, it's an agent. Oh, cool. Why don't you turn it over? Of course, yeah. Okay. That's fine. So he, he gets suited up, and he's got this. He seems very like nervous and, and twitchy, and he's measuring. This sedative, and he's just like, yeah, that looks about right. Right, okay, so wake him up. If he flips, I'm going to inject him, okay? Okay. That's fine. Um, I'm going to... You have no idea what he's just put into that syringe, by the way. He just said it was sedative. Okay. Just uh, just putting that out there. Not saying that he's lying. Okay. Okay, so you're going to wake up Cooper? No. No. Don't wake up Cooper. Why? Wake up Bean. We're not waking up Cooper? Wake up Bean. I thought we were waking up Cooper. He knows where the alcohol is. Of course he does, he's a freaking alcoholic. You don't want Bean awake. He's useless. If he doesn't have a drink, he's going to go mental. I want Bean. What is wrong with you people? Wait, hang on, how big is your crew? This, this is it. Two of you? Three. Oh, I told you. We sort of count him as a... Yeah, we do three. three. Where's the you. rest of your crew? Um, we were only a ship of five. Okay, so that's where's the other two crew members? Kathy, you want to say that? <laughs> <laughs> Same as yours. Well, we're good. Yeah, what, infected? Dead. No, dead. What killed them? Us. <laughs> okay. You keep the fuck away from me. And he just sort of steps back and he's got the string, almost like a weapon. Mm-hmm. You keep it's away from strange. me. What is going on? And he's sort of, is he skirting around? Trying to he's keep distance from you? You, what's going on? I think you should take that sedative. <laughs> sort of grabbing for something on the side of this pod. So yeah, so he sort of reaches his arm over and starts pressing on the, on the pod. And he's like, he's waking someone up. And it's Clayton's pod. <gasps> and he's just like, look at it then. Pod, Don't. Pod starts just... Oh, he's doing it. He's like, keep the fuck away, seriously. And then he's, the he's, now, the he's now grabbing for stuff and he's got a scalpel. Grab, so like, keep away from it. You killed your crew and then you're coming after us. You're a goddamn, what are you, like scavengers or something? We can't kill him, 
pod opens and then this woman she sort of now her pod's a bit different a bit like old Mr. Wilson's here it has tubes that inject stimulants straight away so you don't get out get up as rough you're just turning the corner oh, of course you are these two are looking at the medic who's awake, who's got a syringe mm. full of something and a scalpel, and Clayton is now waking up. What do you want to do? Shoot Clayton. <sighs> Gets out, really, she's like really quite calm and collected, stands up. Wilson walks in, and you just hit him. <laughs> Straight through the head, Clayton's dead, falls back into the pod. Oh, 